Welcome to the News at 10. Today we heard from one of Lori Vallow Daybell's closest friends as well as a law enforcement officer from Arizona. This was the fourth day jurors heard from witnesses and saw evidence in this trial. Vallow is accused of murder, conspiracy to commit murder and grand theft in the deaths of her two kids, JJ and Tylee, and her husband's late wife, Tammy Daybell. Her husband, Chad Daybell, is also charged in these murders. Abby Davis joins us now with a breakdown of what happened in court today as well as audio from inside the courtroom. Abby. Well, Brian and Morgan, I sorted through five hours of court audio. Most of the five hours was taken up by Vallow's friend, Melanie Gibb. A friendship scattered with lies and controversy was put on the witness stand for all to see Thursday. During day nine of Lori Vallow's trial, Melanie Gibb, one of Vallow's closest friends, detailed Vallow's relationship with her ex-husband Charles and two of her kids, JJ and Tylee Bryant. She was distracted a lot. Gibb says Tylee was upset at Lori most of the time and their relationship was tense. Gibb told prosecutors Lori seemed to care a lot about JJ, but as time went on, their connection wasn't as strong. I didn't see them interacting as much the same way. A bit later, Gibb walked the court through Vallow's relationship with her current husband, Chad Daybell. They very much loved each other. She shared with me that he told her that they had been married in another time period. Gibb says the couple believed they were leaders of the 144,000, a group they thought would carry out various missions during the return of Christ. They would have you know, a lot of um, a spiritual endowment from on high. Gibb says Vallow told her about light people and dark people. Those are people possessed by an evil spirit. At first it was, you know, they were working under the contract of Satan. Gibb says the couple called dark people zombies. Many of Vallow and Daybell's family members were on the list including Vallow's ex-husband Charles and her kids. Did Lori ever tell you whether or not an evil spirit had entered Tylee? Yes. Did she ever tell you if JJ was taken over or possessed by an evil spirit? Yes. Gibb says Lori told her JJ was possessed by an evil spirit in September 2019, the month he and his sister Tylee went missing. She would tell me his um, behavior was more difficult, and she would tell me his speech was more intelligent, and she would tell me he would say things like, I love Satan. Gibb says she did not see Tylee after the family moved to Rexburg, Idaho. But while Gibb was visiting in mid-September, she did see JJ. Did you notice any changes in JJ? No. Gibb says when police were looking for JJ in November of 19, Daybell and Vallow asked her to lie to police about where he was. And I felt in a very weird and uncomfortable position, and I really did not know what to do. After Gibb, Chandler Police Detective Nathan Duncan took the stand. Detective, you said you did respond out to that report of a shooting. Duncan was on the scene in July of 19 when Alex Cox, Vallow's brother, shot and killed her ex-husband Charles. In this case, did you observe Charles Vallow's body? I did. Cox claimed it was self-defense. He did have some bleeding in the webbing of his left hand, um, but other than that, there was not much other blood present. Have you ever responded out to another shooting death with so little blood? I have not. The court then listened to an audio recording of Daybell giving Cox a patriarchal blessing, calling him a protector and hero. I know you will stay faithful. <laughs> you have a great mission. Day 9 wrapped up around 3.30 p.m. This morning, the defense asked for the judge to dismiss Gibbs' testimony, saying the prosecution met with her before the trial to prep her and didn't turn over the statements. The judge denied that request. Morgan and Brian trial picks back up tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Pretty harrowing to hear uh, that testimony firsthand from yeah. folks. We've heard some phone calls like one you just heard from, and it's just bizarre to hear it. Some of all this stuff kind of come up from the past and play yeah. it out. As you know, kind of some of the details, right. and this kind of fills in some of those cracks. Exactly. Wow. All right. right. Abby, thank you. Of course, we have live updates from Vallow Daybell's trial on our website over the next two months. You can also check out everything we've covered so far from jury selection and from this first week of trial. For all of our coverage, scan that QR code on your screen or head to KTVB.com, the KTVB smartphone app, or KTVB Plus for Roku or Amazon Fire Stick.